So, hello. Judy! Are you nuts, Judy? Nala, leave her go nuts. Cause, oh, whoa, that was a hell of a test. Bump Judy off. No wonder she tells you off. Judy! Nala. Get him, Judy! Get him, you clown! <laughs> you naughty Judith. Get him, dude. She's funny when she's a goop. Come on, then. So, yeah, I don't really know what I'm going to do today. <laughs> I kind of got plans, things I want to do. But what I'll actually end up doing, I'm not quite sure of. So you remember this conversation I had yesterday? That these two are quite similar, quite independent. That's a little bit what that is. Where they both quite, you know, they're quite, um, they want to be leaders, shall we say. And they're deciding which one out of the pair of them is a leader. And you just need to be independent of one another. Back to more play type of thing now. Let's see how Ari was trying to get higher than her then. I went to put a paw on pumpkin. Where are birdies, Raves? Where are birdies? Find the birdies, Raves. Raven, where's the birdies, Raves? The birdie's gone. Hmm. We lost the Phoebes. Is she dead? She's fat. She's a fat puppy. <sighs> yeah, so um I saw an article, yes, it's kind of an old the article is a few years old. Um about a vet nurse. And this vet nurse was ordering prescription medications like extras from the practice carrying them out in a black bag and then selling these prescription only medications on eBay now she did eventually get caught she got prosecuted and she obviously lost her job so her new job is hearing testing so she's the mobile hearing tester and it just like makes you think if people have got those sorts of oh dude you just got your peripheral vision of a Judith of a Judith oh. right just because I sat down no oh, yeah. oh, yeah. um she's from I think the Yorkshire area but obviously as a mobile tester she travels around but if people are willing to compromise their job, the other aren't people's animals by selling prescription medications without a prescription. All of those sorts of dangerous things. What sort of morals have they got as a hearing tester? You know, they sound like the sort of person 
that would give you false results for a price, don't they? I'm not saying they do that, but I'm just saying. If they got those sorts of, uh, you know, earn a quick buck activities in mind, then it might be... Yeah, anyway, it, it surprised me that, you know, people do this, like... And as a licensed veterinary nurse, as she was at the time, you'd think she'd know better. The risk of... Daddy's doing so many... Of prescription medications being given to the wrong dog, the wrong hands. I'm even chasing Dudley. <laughs> what are these frog legs? What are these little frog legs? So yeah, anyway, this is just, you just think with the here and testing, it's so important that you shouldn't really take the risk using an, somebody who's not reputable, um, you know, and just because they're cheap. You gotta think about that, they're cheap for a reason, you know, and I understand the cost of everything is going up and it's inevitable that people are going to want to save money somewhere. But there's things you can't and shouldn't save money on, and that's your intestine and the feeding of your dogs and your animals. They should always be on good quality food and appropriately health tested. You know, they don't need the latest, fanciest coats, collars, anything like that. They don't need things like that but they need good quality food and good quality health care and health testing you know this collar that she's got on i got it on um a sale in like the sale i think it was about three pound why does she need a more expensive collar she's got a tag on she's used to wearing a collar something i can use to grab her if i need to No, they the dogs don't care what bowl they eat out of. They don't need a posh, expensive, fancy bowl. It, you've got to think about how and where to save your money. And, you know, a poor diet, a low quality diet is going to cause you more problems in the long run. So you're not really saving, are you? not using a reputable company for your hearing intestine could have serious implications for you and them down the line and the new owners so you're not saving money so you can feel it's like going to warm up a lot so we just chilling and we Yeah, you duds. They're gonna get you duds. You tired now, you duds. See, so yeah, I'm gonna test Pod with Raven today. She's a bit like her grandmother, and uh, is a bit of a tart, so she's not an easy tell whether she's still, you know, standing or not. So yeah, I think today I'm going to do quieter lead socialisation-y type walks intermingled with 
<coughs> some training sessions. That's my plan today. Um, I had physio on my foot and ankle, so that's sore. And it's warm, so if I go on the line to do some socialization walks, um, not really, they're not difficult walks or long walks. Your big bottom, are you? I've got a big bottom, are you? You're all tired now. Now you've run around like tits. Too hot here, baby. Oh, gonna annoy Dudley. We won't like it. <laughs> Her and Aria are really sweet together. She does love Aria. That's my thought about playing then. <laughs> I saw you playing with the puppy dudders. Everybody saw it. Busy Jude is too busy for puppies. I've got a guard. I've got a guard everyone on you, Jude. <laughs> How lush is Aria? She's such a good girl. She was playing like this with Pod a bit yesterday as well. When they swapped uh, him and Raven around. Oh, girl, Phoebes. You're dead, banana. You're dead, banana. You're dead, banana. Oh, nala banana. Are you a good banana? Are you just too tired to even wag your tail? Oh, it is such a hard life. Look at that belly, madam. Look at that big belly. Look at that big belly. funny together and I <laughs> so yeah anyway I'm gonna leave this here I shall see you all soon bye